We begin tonight with a developing story as more than a dozen people were killed today in a crash near the U.S. Mexico border. Here's what we know tonight. 13 people died when that Ford Expedition carrying 25 people collided with a big rig hauling two trailers on a highway in Holtville, which is about 11 miles from El Centro in Imperial County. It's about two hours to the east of downtown San Diego. 12 people, including the driver of the SUV, died at the scene. Another died later at a hospital. The ages of the victims range from 20 to 55 years old. The youngest surviving victim was 16. The driver of the big rig was also taken to a hospital in the Palm Springs area, and two people were taken to Scripps Mercy Hospital in San Diego, while some others went to UC San Diego Medical Center. Fox 5's Jamie Chambers is live for us tonight on the scene and starts us off with the investigation that's underway tonight. Jamie. Andrew, they're just clearing the 115 behind us where the accident took place. We're learning a lot more about the SUV in particular. And investigators tell us that only two seats had seat belts. That's just the driver and the passenger seat. And that means 23 other passengers were completely without any safety harnesses. The impact was catastrophic. 12 people dead in a single moment as the Maroon 90s Ford Expedition carrying 25 people inside took a direct hit on the driver's side door. There were women and men in the vehicle, uh, no young children. CHP officials are reporting that the SUV's 22-year-old driver was among those killed. The double-trailered semi-truck driver suffered moderate injuries and was also taken to the hospital for observation. CHP officials say the 69-year-old driver was barreling down the 115 at 6.15 in the morning when the SUV packed with people went through a stop sign. The semi-truck left deep skid marks, but it was too late to stop. The multi-casualty incident called up the CHP local police, ICE agents, all investigating the scene. Customs agents say they are here to support the investigation, but were not involved with any chase. There are no other agencies or no uh, law enforcement personnel behind the vehicle, um, so we don't really know where they're coming from or, or why um, they went through the intersection from the big rig. Ages of those involved in the accident ranged from 16 to 55 years old. In this case, a lot of the people in the vehicle didn't speak English, so we wanted to make sure that we have all the resources available in order to start expediting exactly where the folks may be from and being able to reach out to their families. The CHPs have been in contact with the Mexican consulate. Now we have learned that at least some of the fatalities are Mexican citizens, including the driver who was from Mexicali. From Holtville, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. All right, Jamie, and some small wooden crosses were actually put up there at the site of the crash a few hours after it happened. They were inscribed with messages written in Spanish. Some said peace, equality, and support migrants.